Hey everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and we are down to the last one. Part three of three. If you would like to see the other two parts, I will have links in the description below, and I'll have those little eye bubble thingies pop up where wherever it is they're gonna pop up. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's get to it. Uh, last one. It's almost gonna be hard to say goodbye. Then again, I really want that pin, so <sighs> let's get cracking. Not what adhesive to beat me. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna maul this one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely mauled it. Eat that sucker in a spectacular fashion. And we all know the drill by now. Code card for whoever wants it. So we've got the score bunny. Are we settling the score? We've got the glue key. Come on. Come on out and join the party, Sobble. There's Sobble. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <sighs> this is what I get when I'm filming later than I really should be. I should be going to bed, but I wanted to open up Pokemon cards now! There we go. Got our booster packs. Startlingly, the same exact ones as last time. We'll get to those in a minute. Until then, I gotta chuck this plastic behind me and uh, show off the lovely pin. There we are. And here are all of the pins together. They look fantastic. There's a nice little close-up of Subble, Subble Wobble. Oh, they just look so beautiful together. Seriously, I love these pins so much. I know I've got way too many of them, but then again, I don't think you can ever have too many lapel pins. It's an addiction. Oh my gosh, it's Evolutions that doesn't have a Blastoise on it. But it's still an evolution, so I'm kind of, uh, but we shall hold true to the pattern and open up evolutions first. Perhaps there will be something amazing in there. Or not. Code card for whoever wants it. So we've got Porygon. I do like that classic Porygon artwork. There's always there's just something about it. I think it was because when when like you first had the Pokemon cards coming out, Porygon was just so unique and different from all the other cards. So I always really liked it, even though it wasn't exactly the, the super rare uber fancy. Alright, Magnemite, Bull Torque, Sandshrew. Ooh, we've got a reverse hollow Charizard. Very nice, very nice. And we've got a good boy, a classic good boy. So not too terrible. Let us see if Lunala and Solgaleo can bring something even better. Okay. 
I did like those two as legendaries. They were cool. Alolan Grimer. An Icky Mollusk. Chinchow. Cosmog. Pancham. Psychic type energy. Larvesta. An Aurith. A Gloomy Gloom. Oh, that's different. Okay, that's that's really cool. Even if it is the overrated electric hamster. I mean, like the, the rare is an arm all though, but that pales in comparison. I'm gonna th this it just looks different, so I am gonna sleeve this baby. This just it just looks so different from the regular Pokemon cards and as far as a reverse hollow goes. Huh. Fascinating. Anyways, let us see what unbroken bonds. Sylveon and Gardevoir. Let us see what they will bring to the table. There is the code card. Polywag, Inky, a Tentacool, a very lazy drowsy. Oh my gosh, that cute bump's face. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's got those super cute liquid eyes. Speaking of liquid, water type energy. Dusk Stoon, a Hunter, a Metal Core Barrier, and a Cliff Fable. Eh. Again. Woof. But let us see if Blastoise and Piplup here will bring the luck. Will we have last pack magic? Smash like for last pack magic. There we are, code card. Let's go. We have a Magnemite, a Lilypuff, Trapinch, Sneasel, I'm getting some major deja vu, Energy, okay, finally something different, Pignite, Zangoose, a Gloom, ooh, there's something fancy, I like fancy, Reverse Hollow, Magnemite, Ooh, a tag team of Charizard and Braxen, or Braxen, however you say it. It's a dragon and a fox. Point is, I like it. Last pack magic, you came through this time. Very nice, very nice, very nice. What a lovely, lovely card to end on. To recap, our reverse hollows are this Magnemite, this Metalcore Barrier thing, there's the Charizard, which was pretty cool, but then there was this thing, which was super unique. I love it, because it is so different, and we got that awesome tag team, and really, these ones... Okay, well, aside from the cool promo starters... Eh, those were all forgettable. This, this is where it's at. Gorgeous. So, overall, I think Sobble here did the best. And my starter, Grookey, really? Really? <sighs> you just never know. You just never know with Pokemon cards. Anyways... I'm afraid that's all for today's video. I certainly hope you enjoyed the good, the bad, and the woof. With that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Be sure to watch the other two videos in this little series opening. And I certainly hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!